Hi everyone, it's Joanna here. Today's workout is an indoor walking workout to get your steps in and also to boost your metabolism. So we want to increase your heart rate and burn lots of calories. There will be a focus on your core and we want to work on your waistline. So let's start walking. Let's start by warming up our body. So let's start by marching on the spot, okay? So this workout is going to be low impact. There will not be any jumping involved, but we can also take it a notch up, okay? Depending on your fitness level. So let's start marching on the spot. And I want you to just swing your shoulders front and back and just really release the tension on your upper body and drive your knees higher, okay? Good job. So keep marching. Relax your shoulders, do not tense your shoulders up and just relax, all right. Now, what I want to do is just take a step in and out, okay? Arm combo, forward and up, forward and up, that's it. So, we're also going to warm up on our upper body and throughout the exercises, I want you to really focus on your core and be conscious of working on your core as well, okay? Keep going, side step, up and forward. Good job. Now, let's get into some heel digs, okay? So heel digs, stretching your calves out, tap forward, left and right, and tap forward. Good job. Left and right, good. Keep a slight bend in your knees. Throughout the workout, remember that there should always be a slight bend in your knees to avoid any injuries, so do not lock your knees okay stay low and keep a slight bend good now reverse leg curls okay so kick your heels back to your butt and just open up your chest and squeeze your back muscles good job keep going and reach okay wide step good and remember, remember, I always say this, pace your breathing. Breathe in and out, all right? The better you are at pacing your breathing, the longer you will be able to sustain your workout. Good. And now, just march it out and give me a few crisscross, okay? So, right leg back, left leg back. Crisscross, this is gonna be the last warm up and we will start the workout okay good job crisscross slight bend in your elbows and step and cross good one more and just shake it out okay so this workout is going to combine cardio total body cardio as well with a core focus all right so the first workout is going to be a step back and a twist all right step back and a twist step back and a twist that's it good so left leg back twist rotate working on your obliques twist and step good job and twist so as you twist i want you to drive your hips back forward feel the engagement on your core and pull it back step and reach and twist there you go, okay? So stand tall, chest up. Good, step and twist, step and twist. Alternating between your legs. Last one more, and twist, good job. Okay, next is going to be a high knee skip. So imagining that you're skipping, but without the jump. And what I want to do is bring your knee up, knee up, knee up, and up, okay? There is a slight bounce, but it's not a jump, okay? So, tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. And what I'm going to do is try to drive your knee as high as possible and feel the crunch on your abs, okay? Whew, there you go. Imagining as though you're skipping, but without the hop. So just tiptoe, tiptoe, good job. Find your rhythm. Find your rhythm. Up, up, up and up. Good, there you go. 
Keep going. Stay light on your feet. Stay on your toes. And just breathe. Breathe out. That's one more. And good. Okay. Now, let's work on our obliques, okay? It's going to be a standing side crunch with a pull down. So start tall, step wide. What I need to do is crunch to the side. Remember, to the side. So knees pointing out and to the side. It's not forward, okay? It's out to the side, out to the side. Point your toes and your knees out. And try to drive your knee to your elbow. Okay, good job. And go. If this is too tough, you can start low. And eventually, bring it higher up. Good. Everybody needs a starting point. So start where you're able and slowly progress. Okay, pull it down, drop it down. Remember, it's your knee reaching your elbow. All right, and every 15 seconds, you get a short break and just remember to march it out. Next is going to be Caesar jacks, okay? Just like jumping jacks, but it's low impact. So what I want to do is drive your leg back with your arms, just like a jumping jack. Again, no jumping, but I want you to stay light on your feet. Good. Left leg and right leg back. Arms up, keep a slight bend in your elbow. Come on, drive the arms up. Really use the strength from your core and your upper body and drive it back down, pull it back down. Don't just let it fall. Down, good. Do that squeeze, do the work on your shoulders as well. This is a total body workout, okay? You can work on your core by doing standing ab exercises as well. It's not all about crunches. Keep going and good. All right. Okay, now let's start on the left. Let's go double side step, twist, double side step and twist. Again, remember, staying light on your feet and twist, okay? Drive your elbow towards your knee, knee up and twist. Cross crunch, good. Stay light, find your balance. Do not collapse, okay? <laughs> Stay tall, chest up, good. Arms just by your sides. Stay light and double side step and cross crunch. Good. And breathe. You should, your, you should feel your heart rate pumping. I know I am. Good job. You are strong. Come on, let's sweat it out. Let's burn calories. Let's boost our metabolism. Okay, all right, very, very well done. Okay, now it's going to be a wide low step with a cross. So what I want to do is point your knees out with your toes out. It's sort of like a wide squat, but what you can do is to support your arms on your legs, okay? So wide and back, wide and back. So use your arms to support your thighs and help Push yourself up, okay? As you stand tall, squeeze your core and twist. Twist, good, there you go. Crunch and twist. Stand tall and push. This is a really good inner thigh workout as well. Use your upper body to help push yourself back up. Good job, guys. You are halfway through this one round okay good job push it up stand tall push it up down and up okay a short slight recovery but we want to still be working on our car this is going to be a side to side reach okay it might look simple but the focus here is to really engage your core and drive yourself back into the center and back into the center so it's not this okay it's not penguin left drive Pull it back, engage your core, pull yourself back, pull. Small movement, but really suck the belly in, in one straight line, okay? Do not collapse down. One straight line, side to side, reach, as though you're reaching for someone. Oh, pull it, come, keep reaching, pull it back, 
pull. Good. Keep reaching and pull. Good job. One straight line. I know you're feeling the burn on your shoulders as well. Keep going. Pull, pull, and pull. Okay. Good job. All right. Okay, now let's work on our left side to begin with. It's going to be a side tap with an arm combo. It's going to be reach and pull. Okay? So again, keeping your knees soft, reach and pull. Working on the total body as well as your core, okay? Reach and pull. 20 seconds on each side and we want to change to the other side. Okay, change over, reach and pull it back down. Good. Squeeze. Feel the squeeze on your waistline. Working the waistline. Pull it, pull. Good. Remember to stand tall as you pull up, okay? Good. Few more. Reach and pull. Last two more. And good. Shake it out. All right. Same thing. Working on our left side to begin with. Now I want you to step forward and pull, okay? So this will really hit the mid and the lower core, core all right? So again, keep your knees slightly bent. Reach forward and pull. If you want to challenge yourself, reach higher up. Go. Reach up, pull. Good. 20 seconds on each side. It's gonna go by really quick. Let's keep going. A few more. And now change side. Left leg, reach up, pull, and tap. And breathe, okay? Reach up as high as you can. Brace your core. Look straight ahead. Last few more. And just march it out. Okay, now take a step back, okay? The next workout is going to be a double step forward and a double step back, okay? So throughout this exercise, I want you to stay low. Stay low, double quick step forward, double quick step back. That's it, quick step forward, quick step back, all right? So remember, keep yourself light on your feet. You don't want your neighbors to be yelling at you. So stay light, double step forward, double step back. Okay, now let's lead with your left leg. Left leg forward, left leg back, and back. Good, keep going. You should feel the burn on your legs, your thighs. Keep going. Small step forward, small step back. Last one more. And just shake it out. Okay. Oh, right. Let's go. Two more exercises. The next is going to be a simple heel tap, okay? Again, the goal is to drive your heels up. Do not lean forward, okay? Let's go. Heel tap and add a slight rotation. Good. Rotation with heel taps. Tap and tap. Good. Tiptoe. You are doing great. 10 minutes into the workout. Strong legs, strong body, strong core. Crunch it up. Breathe out. Breathe in and out. Tap, tap. Do not stop right now. Come on. Up and up. Nice. Last five more seconds. Tap and tap. Push it and shake it out. Okay, one final workout and you will get a short one minute break, okay? Skaters. So what I want you to do is step back, cross over, and really try to bring your body down and reach the floor, okay? I want you to challenge yourself. Try to tap the floor and really drive your body down, but still keeping your back flat and not hunching forward. If you're doing this, this is wrong. This is just lazy, all right? Engage your core, tight core. Look straight ahead. Back flat. Take a wide step to the side. And tap. Cross over as wide as you can. Final workout. And you will get 
a short break. So stay with me, tap, reach, go lower, nice. Cross over, tap, one more, and slowly come back up, okay. Take a short one minute break, and you know this, we want to repeat the entire circuit once more. You are halfway through your workout. Stay with me, stay strong, and keep yourself hydrated. One round down, another round to go, okay? So this round, I want you to really step it up and challenge yourself. You can do the easier version, but I will also show you a more advanced version, okay? So if you want to challenge yourself, do follow along. All right, are we ready? The first workout is going to be a step back with a twist. All right, so stand in a neutral position. Start with your left leg. Let's go, step back, twist, back, step, and twist, okay? Good, twist, working on your obliques, rotate and pull it back. Starting nice and easy. Just a small step back and rotate. Good, there you go. Guys, only 12 minutes left. Stay with me, okay? I want you to finish this workout strong and sweaty. Good, keep going, step back. Pull it, and pull. Stand tall, good. Rotate as far as you can, and up. All right, good job. Okay, next is going to be a high knee skip, okay? So just like skipping, bring your knee up, bring your knee up, bring your knee up. That's it, okay? And now, the challenge is to bring your knees higher up or get into a skip, okay? Choose your option if you want to. You can just bounce slightly, get into a skip, balance on one leg and the other side, all right? So choose your option. If this is too much for you, then just up, 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 up. If not, let's go. Bounce, good job. So there will always be options for beginners or for those of you who want to challenge yourself a little bit more. But it's all right, we progress, okay? As you repeat this workout, you might want to try this advanced version. Go up, skip, skip, and skip. A few more, and shake it out. Okay, standing side crunch. Remember, step wide, toes pointed out, arms up, crunch to your side, okay? Remember, knees and toes pointed out, arms to the side. If you want to challenge yourself, again, you can add a slight bounce just to drive your knees a little higher up. If this is too much, take it a notch down and just stay. And back, okay? Choose your option, let's go. Those of you who feel like I have more energy and then let's keep it up with me. Up, up, good. Just a slight bounce, not too high, just a slight bounce. Last few more, and shake it out. Okay, Caesar jacks, all right? So same thing, arms up, take a step back, and just Caesar your legs. All right, remember, really drive your arms up and down. Control your arms, lead your arms. Do not let your arms lead you, okay? If you want to take it a notch up, you know this. Scissors. Get into a scissors, okay? This is a full scissor jacks. And remember, look straight ahead, pace your breathing. It's just like a small shuffle. Pace your breathing. Stay with me. Breathe, last 10 seconds. Let's get our steps in. Last few more, one, two, three. Okay, march it out, all right. 
Okay, now, a little bit of coordination. Start on your left, okay? Double step, crunch. Double step, cross crunch. Are we ready, all right? Stay low, keep it light. Double step, cross crunch. Double step, cross crunch. Cross and up. Cross, good job. Remember, bring your knee up, not your elbows down. I want you to maintain a tall position, knee up. Good. Keep going. Twist, double step, stay light. Arms out, good. Working also on your hip mobility, okay. All right, wide, low step with a cross, okay? So step wide with your toes pointed out. Remember, you can use your arms to support you. So just like a wide squat, down, cross to the back, down and cross to the back, okay? So stay low, cross, down and up. Good, push away, push and point, cross and point. Good job, push, cross and point. Take this time to recover, cross and point, cross and point. Who wants the advanced version? Yeah, <laughs> let's do this, okay. Down, crisscross, down, crisscross, okay? <laughs> this is the advanced version, down, crisscross, down and cross. Give me two more, all right? Stay with me, one more, down and crisscross, okay. Good job, all right. You are halfway there. A short active recovery, but still working on our core. Arms out, side to side, reach, all right? Okay, let's reach like you mean it. Let's go, pull it, pull as far as you can, working on the waistline. Pull, pull, good. Keep going, keeping your legs straight, step wide, Pull and reach. Keep going, guys. Pull and reach. Chest up. Look straight ahead and go. Tighten your abs. Go. Good. Can you feel the stretch along your waist? Pull, pull and reach. Good. I feel the burn in my shoulders as well. Reach, reach and reach. Oh, who's still with me? Okay, let me know in the comments below if you're still with me, if you are still going strong. Okay, now, side step with an overhead reach, okay? So, stand in a neutral position. Let's start on our left side. Up and reach. Good. Small step to the side and reach. Keeping your right knee bent all the time. Okay, 20 seconds on one side and we will change to the other side. A few more, one, two, three, and now switch over, pull it. Good, feel that squeeze in your back muscles as well. Reach up and pull. Pull, you are also working on your lats. Squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze, okay. Whew. I am absolutely drenched in sweat. I always am in all my workout videos because I do this workout live with you, okay? So, whatever you're feeling right now, I can feel it as well. Okay, now, let's take a step back and reach forward, okay? Challenge yourself. Remember, reach your arms higher up. Feel the work on your shoulders. Feel the stretch on your back muscles. 20 seconds on each side. It's short, so give me a good quality round. Keep going. That's one more. And switch. Good. Keep pulling. Up. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Good job. Find your own rhythm. Stick to that rhythm. Let's speed it up. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. And good job. 
Oh. Oh. If you're still with me, now, let's take two steps back, okay? This is going to be a low step forward and back, okay? Double step forward, stay low, leading with your right leg, step back, all right? It's not a complicated exercise, but it's a very effective workout for your legs. Step back, stay low, a slight bend, and step back. Feel the burn on your glutes, your quads, and your hamstrings as well. Okay, now, leading with your left, okay? Forward, back. Step forward, and back. Step forward, good. Short break, good. There you go. Last one more, forward, back, and just, oh, breathe guys. Two more exercises to go, okay? Heel taps. All right, let's do this. Let's really drive your heels up, okay? Tap, 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 and tap, all right? Remember, step wide. Find your balance, find your rhythm. And keep going. If you want to challenge yourself, let's go. Bounce. A slight bounce. Remember to not lock your knees, okay? Slight bend and a small bounce. And a slight rotation to your left and to your right. You got this. That's one more. And woo, final workout. My favorite skaters, okay? So the challenge here is to really reach for the floor. Start in the middle, cross your left leg over, okay? Cross your left leg, tap the floor, go as far as you can, and tap. Really reach and tap. Remember to always keep your back flat, chest up. Do not hunch forward just so you can reach the floor. If this is too much, then just tap on your knees to begin with, okay? Are we ready for the final 20 seconds? If you want, come with me. Hop. If not, just stay and keep going with the regular skaters. Find your balance. Engage your core. Last five seconds. Last burst. Let's go. And, oh my gosh. Woo. My heart rate is going crazy. It is at 177 BPM. And I'm at 2.5 kilometers, okay? Oh, well done. Almost three kilometers. Breathe in, breathe out. And take this time to just release, okay? Shoulder rows. Bring your heart rate back down. Remember that your cool down is as important as your workout. So don't skip this last three minutes, okay? Roll. And now just reach for the wall, grab your legs and just stretch out your quads. Breathe. And now place your left leg in front, keeping it straight, just reach forward slightly, okay? I want you to feel the stretch along your hamstring. Good, just reach forward. If you want to, you can try to reach the floor. If not, just rest your hands on the opposite knee. Good job. And now change the other leg, stretch it out. Whew, well done, guys. That was intense. Such simple movements. But when you really put all your energy and effort into it, you will really feel the burn and you will really have a good workout session. Okay? Oh, and now just reach. My heart rate is still high. Just stretch your hamstrings.
and now just give me three deep breaths in, okay? So, ready? Breathe in, bend your knees, reach up, stretch up, and breathe out. <sighs> Again, breathe in, reach up. <sighs> One more for good luck. Let's start our day strong. Breathe in, stretch, and out. <sighs> okay, guys. Very, very, very well done. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. What's your heart rate like? How many steps did you manage to get in? And if you are sweaty like me, okay? Do this workout at least two to three times weekly and combine it with my total body strength training exercises for best results, all right? And don't forget to check out other meal plans and also workout plans on my YouTube channel and also a lot more fitness tips to guide you through your fitness journey. And I will see you next time. All the best.